What is up guys? Here we are, back out. I want to start by saying I got the spot lock hooked up, which I'm super excited about. Shout out to Roger Jones for helping me get that going. But man, I'm I'm gonna explore a little bit today. I'm gonna hit some spots that I normally fish and I don't know, no expectations. I'm just happy to be out. We got a beautiful day. It's blowing south west probably five to ten right now i'm gonna fish it through the tide change that's the plan anyways so i'm gonna be out here for a while but i appreciate you guys uh watching these videos if you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe check out some of my other stuff and if you have any questions about anything shoot me a comment down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i see it but stay tuned see if we get on some thanks guys i've been so excited about this being able to stand on this platform run the trolling motor and control where I'm going and when I get there to spot lock. Gosh, this is so cool. I'm also demoing this uh, Pin Slammer 4DX 2500, but this will be uh, day test or testing day number two. So we'll see how it does. And I'll uh, circle back when I'm actually catching some fish. Got some, I think I've got some fish right up here. spooked him. I'm not even close to him, that's the problem. Alright, I'm pulling towards the red now. Oh. Massive score right here. There we go. He crushed it. He crushed it. There's 25 in that school right there. Alright, the school is right here. Crushed it. This is the first red I've caught on the new Slammer 4. I don't have the drag that tight, but it's tight enough to put some heat on it. out all right there we go boy all right there we go this is my first red of uh of the year so far that's that's awesome Five inch redfish. I can see that same group of fish right up here. They're actually, uh, people will call it winking, or they'll say they'll refer to them as happy fish, but they're actually coming out of the water with their backs. They're up there about 50 yards. I'm trying to ease my way back up there without spooking them. I can't see like the mass of fish yet, but I know they're there because I keep seeing back flashes. So I've got my trolling motor turned down to ease my way up here. All right, that group of fish is right up there. You can kind of see right at my rod tip. The water is, it's, uh, I don't know, it's not nervous water, but it's odd. See, see, look right there. They're attacking bait right on the shoreline right here. I've got about, I don't know, 10 or 15 more feet, and then I can make a cast. I am casting against the wind, so I have to be, I have to think about these things before I just sling a bait in there. All right, here we go. See, I still didn't really get good distance. See, this fish have moved up a little bit. All right, so my mistake right there was I casted at the fish and not past the fish. I couldn't make it past the fish, so that was my problem there. If you guys want to learn more about this type of fishing, man, I hire a guide. There's a ton of good ones around here. Um, Judd Brock in particular, he specializes in this. But man, they can put you on the fish. The issue I have right now is um, 
which the trolling motor is a huge help, but is being quiet, getting close, casting, keeping the boat straight, all of that at the same time. There's really not a lot of room for air. Oh, there's reds underneath us right here. Cast it. These fish are real spooky. There we go. Smoked it. Smoked it. Good class of fish today. Got a real good class of fish. Oh my gosh, he's making so much noise. Oh, don't get around the motor. No, no, no. Get around the motor. Come on back. Another really good fish. And number two. Slammer did really good on that one too. We'll get him back safely. Alright, let it kick off. There you go. Alright guys, seven and a half hours later, I'm calling it a day. I um had a good time. I mean I, I got to chase reds in the shallows and then I targeted trout in the afternoon. I only had one trout to show for, but that's okay. Uh, the slammer did really good today. Uh, red, the reds gave it no issue. And most of the time, that's going to be your hardest fighting inshore fish. But realistically, I don't think I like it. I mean, it's just so heavy and it's just not as smooth as my Shimano is. Um, I mean, it's, it's doing fine. If you're a pin dude and you like pin reels, it's probably going to be a good one for you. Um, as far as like how sturdy it is it feels solid it's just that i got spoiled on those shimano reels and daiwa i will give daiwa the credit that they need to but uh, i appreciate you guys watching these videos if you're not subscribed please subscribe to the channel and of course if you have any real estate needs i serve residential up to like 30 miles from wilmington and i do land all over the state i'm looking for buyers and sellers um i've sold everything that i have at the moment so that's also why i have time to fish <laughs> So hopefully I have another video for you guys soon. I appreciate y'all.